Hello and welcome to another Premiere Pro quick tip. This is the updated version to the warp stabilizing if your sequence or settings are off. Um, it was a really popular video, so I'm gonna do it again with the updated version. So here we are. We have a video of an Italian man speaking. And when we dropped this video into the sequence, the entire sequence was set um, to this video's settings. So you can see the sequence settings and the sequence settings um, option inside of sequence settings and you can tell that it has particular settings for PAL frames per second and all that we'll say you drop in another video in there that was shot on your camera that was different settings you're gonna find yourself running into an issue whenever you add the warp stabilizer because it's gonna say that the the dimensions do not match the sequence so you can fix it by nesting so it actually tells you the fix so what you'll do is you'll right click, go to nest, name the nest whatever you'd like, press OK, and then add warp stabilizer. Well, say you also want to slow down the clip. It's oftentimes we want to like smooth clips out, but then also slow them down. What's going to happen is when you stretch out your, your video, it's going to say warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. So what you'll do is you'll undo that, and then you'll just nest the clip again. Press OK. Add the warp stabilizer once more. Actually, create your speed, then nest, then add the warp stabilizer. You can actually nest it multiple times and you don't lose fidelity. It's all um, part of the XML. It's all part of the editing system. You're not losing any quality by nesting. So you can nest multiple times and see how many times you can nest and warp stabilize <laughs> to see if you can make your clip not move or Warp Stabilizer has a function that allows for no motion. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this clip. Um, peace.